I'm going to do a follow-up video on Sphere Finance uh, just to kind of highlight once again why I'm so bullish on this project. If you haven't seen my previous video, which I did a couple of days ago, I do recommend you go and check this out. So I do explain a little bit more why I'm bullish on this project. But in this video, I wanted to do something different. I wanted to play you a segment of their latest uh, release video. So I did talk about some of the tokenomics and the migration over to USD plus with the V2.1 contract on Sphere. Uh, so, you know, anybody that knows anything about tokenomics, you're going to be bullish on this, in my opinion. So I just wanted to play you this and it just give you a little bit of a reason, another reason why I'm bullish on this project. I'm also going to look at one of the announcements they've made, uh, the announcements we've made in Discord and uh, do a brief overview on that. So just before we get into that, let's play this segment of the video and understand what this V2.1 contract um, is all about and why I'm bullish on it. So hopefully you can hear it correctly, but it would only take a few minutes. So just listen to this little part real quickly. I'll just play it now. With the dashboard covered, let's move on to an even more interesting and important update with Sphere V2.1, the liquidity pool. Sphere dismantled its liquidity from Wmatic and transitioned to USD+. Along the way, Sphere created a proxy or stand-in contract, which allows Sphere the flexibility to make changes to the underlying contract in the future without having to change the token address. To put it another way, Sphere can now easily switch between being paired with Wmatic, USD+, or any other token deemed beneficial for the long-term success of Sphere without requiring any additional action from investors. Seeing as we are currently in a seller's market, this update will help improve the stability of the price of Sphere. Remember, 50% of the price volatility of Sphere is due to its paired token. So when Sphere was paired with Wmatic, Sphere benefited from the price appreciation of Wmatic, but it also suffered from the price depreciation of Wmatic. Now that Sphere is paired with USD+, not only will the price of Sphere be more stable, but also every single day, the price of Sphere will passively appreciate as the amount of USD plus in the liquidity pool increases thanks to the daily yield bearing nature of USD plus. Currently, and with the new Sphere USD plus liquidity pool, Sphere has less liquidity now than it did before, and that was purposeful. Not all of the Wmatic that was dismantled from Sphere's initial liquidity was converted to USD plus to create the new liquidity pool. That is primarily so that Sphere can take a good portion of that Wmatic and yield farm it and compound it. In the future, that revenue can be used to buy and burn Sphere. Essentially, Sphere's liquidity pool is now in a type of hibernation mode to steadily wait out the bear market. In fact, thanks to the revenue from all of its investments, Sphere is already able to feed itself without the need for new investors. This so just to pause there, right? I just wanted to uh, obviously highlight, um, I talked in a previous video about the deflationary tokenomics, okay? Um, uh, the fact that Sphere was previously an auto automatic rebasing token, it is no longer a rebasing token. So they've changed the dashboard. You can no longer get that 100,000% APY and things like that. It's now a deflationary rather than an inflationary project uh, we also talked about it being a store of value with forced appreciation okay so um when it comes to uh, for example the fact that they've done a migration this is like a brand new chart right uh, that video also mentions that it's got lower liquidity than what it had previously and one of the things that they're doing with that is they're using the ratmatic that they took from the contract and they're yield farming that okay and then they're going to be using the proceeds from that to buy back sphere okay so that's going to be forced appreciation not only that they've paired they've paired it up with usd plus okay just like it mentioned in the video usd plus is also a yield bearing stable coin right and that is going to be increasing the amount of liquidity that it has in the pair so you know 
that a result of that will be a higher price as well so not only do they have the buybacks okay also talks um in this video i will link the the video the link to this video in the description by the way but also talks about the burns and stuff like that and um you know it's got the the, the buybacks that they're going to be doing from the uh, the yield that they're generating from the ratmatic and of course the liquidity is lower so it's going to make it more volatile okay so it's going to be able to move the price uh, up easier so it's not just relying basically just on um, new investors coming in although we do expect new investors to come in that's another way that you can get this price to go up so the other thing that i wanted to talk about in the discord channel uh, which is a recent announcement that they just made is penrose and dystopia and the liquidity that you can provide for the liquidity vault okay which is also going to help the price of this token so uh, the next step uh, they said here is to create our liquidity vaults for you this is yesterday okay um so the next step is to create our liquidity vaults for you the investors by depositing into the liquidity vault you can provide liquidity to dystopia and penrose with your sphere tax-free so there's going to be no cost to do that which is you know an incentive to do that okay you're not going to get taxed okay so the entire community benefit uh, benefits from this and why so sphere has great governance power over penrose and dystopia this simply allows us to make your sphere lp very attractive to investors it says inventors but i think they mean investors imagine a high apr on your sphere so this is another way although it's no longer a rebasing token you can still get rewards on your sphere by adding liquidity pairing up with usd plus it into penrose and dystopia okay so uh, this allows you to expose yourself as a sphere holder towards penrose and dystopia many of you have asked how to interact with dystopia and penrose and we had to be silent for some time to build without when 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 questions but now we can break the ice the utility of sphere is expanding all you need is prorated amounts of usd plus and sphere to provide the lp our vaults take your USD plus and sphere and provide them to Dystopia and aggregate them via Penrose so you can as well join uh, enjoy the passive growth through three different protocols thanks to Sphere. Amazing, isn't it? But that's not all. Next, as you provide liquidity to the ecosystem, our LP grows. And as the LP grows, everyone's taxes go down. An amazing passive result of providing for the liquidity pool and earning on top of it. Okay, so... Spheres deflationary phase is in full swing. Uh, points on our roadmap are being worked on and it's wonderful to see the community engaged and so on. So going back to what it says here about the taxes going down, right? A lot of people don't like uh, huge sell taxes, uh, buy taxes, sell taxes, okay? But as the LP grows, the taxes are going to go down. So that's another thing you've got to look forward to, especially as an early investor in it, okay? Okay. Um, you're going to be able to get out of your position or average out of your positions later on down the line as this LP grows. So I think this is super bullish. OK, it's super bullish. OK, and, um, you know, everything that, you know, I, I said in a, uh, my, my previous video that this is like my top, uh, probably the number one play on Polygon, in my opinion. I do recommend you check out uh, this full video so you can obviously, you know, just get have a real proper listen to it okay because i'm not even sure if the sound has come through correctly on this video to be honest um because i have to play it back um, after the recording but uh yeah this is a super bullish project you see the price is holding up it's volatile like i said it's lower liquidity which obviously are we, we are seeing some downside to that volatility but we are going to see the upside based on everything that it says in this video in my opinion um as well as some of the other things that they've talked about in ways of getting this price to go up so for me this is a definitely a good hold for you to consider in even in the bear market okay um look at it like a brand new token with low liquidity that's going to have you know exponential growth over time uh it's not even 146 million market cap like it says here it's actually about 58 million market cap um it's well 52 million market cap okay and like i said that's down from 78 million um just about a week ago so you know just think of the price potential for this or the market cap potential. Is this a 100 million, 200, 300 million, even a billion plus uh, potential project with Dystopia and Penrose and all of those things? Like I said in my previous videos, go and check those out. This for me has a lot of potential and the risk to reward, um, you know, 
I, I think the reward is going to be super high. So that being said, it's the end of the video. I just wanted to bring that to your attention. Um, links are in the description. Subscribe to the channel. Um, let me know in the comments what you think about this uh, down below as well. That's all I have for you for now. I'll see you guys in the very next video.